so now we have all the information we need. We are ready to load our data to the file. Okay, so we can come to home. Close and load, close and load to. I just have this sheet here. So let's try, instead of loading as a table, I want to load this as a pivot table report. I'm going to place the report there. Okay. And now we have our fields here and we can build our pivot table immediately after this. So for example, I can have, oh, I forgot to name, uh, let's go, let's do this before. Let's do this before we load our pivot table because I wanted to rename the column name to store. So let's do that. Data, queries and connections. Double click here to edit the query. And before we load here, this column, and I forgot also to change the data types. So let's do that. Here, let's do store. And product is text. The store already is recognized as text. The vendor is also text. And the quantity needs to be whole number or decimal number. Uh, let's leave it as a whole number. If we didn't do that, in fact, our pivot table wouldn't work, wouldn't be able to calculate because it cannot sum, it needs to know that we have a number to be able to calculate. So close and load. It's very important to define the data types at the end. And I was almost forgetting about that. So if I click here, now I have two tabs here on the right side. If I go to this one, I am on the pivot table tab. If I go there, I am on the queries and connections tab. It's quite a nice addition there. Okay, so now I have store, good. So I can, for example, have stores and then have the vendors inside each store. And then we can put, for example, products across the columns and the quantity there in the values. There we go, nice report. And the good thing about it is that if this is if this is what we wanted, it's done. And if you need to repeat this every month, well, or every week or every day, it doesn't matter. You just need to make sure to have your files in that folder. That's it, right? Here in the pivot table, we in the design, we can change the report layout to use the tabular form. This way we have one, one column for store and one column for vendor. So there's other things that we could work here in our pivot table. I like to also uncheck the grid lines here so it's a much cleaner view. And of course, there we could rearrange our pivot table a different way if we wanted to. But our main purpose to collect the data is done.